But first, let's start with CBS 17's Jordan Kramer, who is live in Philadelphia. Jordan, what an emotional night for Hubert Davis and the Tar Heels. This was a legacy defining win for every member of this program, but it starts with Hubert Davis. And this is a guy that a couple months back, if you looked on social media, there were UNC fans questioning is he the right guy for North Carolina basketball? Today, he became the ninth ever first year head coach to lead his team to a Final Four. First, since Bill Guthridge, his former assistant coach, and Hubert Davis was emotional talking about Coach Guthridge and really all of his former coaches, Dean Smith, Bill Guthridge, Roy Williams. You know, he said they laid the foundation. Foundation, and he really hopes that he made them proud. I'm sure tonight they were in the same way that Hubert Davis was proud of his own team. That's the other legacy that was established tonight. You've got guys like Licky Black and Armando Baycott who have been with this program and not experienced the joys of a typical Carolina basketball season. Today, tonight, they did. Since I've been here, my first two years was just so tough, and you know, people kind of pushed North Carolina to the side and saying how we were done and all this and that. And I'm just so glad to make it to the Final Four finally and kind of submit myself. I mean, we're not done yet, but just to, you know, submit myself and us as a team, me and Leaky specifically, just being able to say we won. It's been a been a roller coaster, you know, the last few years. Pretty much been laughed at, you know what I mean? For, um, on social media, it's just, it just feels good to, you know, get the last laugh right here, but we're not done yet. That was a common theme throughout from the players, reiterating the fact that they are not done yet. They are going to New Orleans to play in the Final Four, so they will celebrate this win over St. Peter's tonight, but they are going to turn their focus entirely to what will be an epic, epic matchup with Duke as they make their way to New Orleans. My voice right now is pretty gone. I think it's already on its way to New Orleans. Nick and Maggie. Yes, epic, a good word for that game. And I guess